Hey everyone, welcome to Montenegro once again. We are here in Novi. Beautiful view, beautiful day, it's super hot here. So we're gonna to talk today about the subject of investing in real estate specifically in Montenegro, which is something that is pretty interesting for people for two reasons. One, because they have citizenship by investment, as we mentioned in our main video on this place. Uh, and second of all, just because of the fact that from an investment standpoint, it might be interesting. So to give a little bit of background on it, you know, it's worth doing a little bit of understanding about real estate investing in general, and I can maybe put a link uh, to an article we wrote on this subject a while ago. But to start off with, here's what you would want to pay attention to. You want to pay attention to, okay, obviously, is there going to be appreciation and is there cash flow in the properties? So if you were to look at some place like Dubai, as an example, it's overbuilt and there's concerns of prices dropping as well as not great cash flow because there's a lot of inventory. Similar if you were to go to someplace like Kuala Lumpur, these are concerns that I have. Uh, if you're looking at Montenegro, it's a lot more interesting. Why? Well, first of all, because during the summer, you have a lot of tourists and the tourist numbers are growing rapidly. And you can kind of just look around and you can see, look, like we've got this beautiful sea here and there's only so much seaside area. You have combined with that some nice mountains and it's quite inexpensive compared to a lot of different destinations. You were to go to Italy or Spain or something like that. So when you consider that, the long-term economics and the dynamics, the tourism industry isn't going anywhere. In fact, it's only gonna go up. That's just a reality. The cool thing as well is that around here, you can probably see if you look out, there is a narrow strip of land between the sea and the mountains. And that means you're really geographically constrained and there's only so much space to build, right? It's not like you go to, I don't know, uh, the coast of Bulgaria where you have a lot of space to build, right? On top of that, the water here is nicer, etc. So we like that. From that perspective, I think it's quite, uh, quite interesting because we have long-term demand. Now the downside, of course, is that that's on short-term rentals, which of course require more management, right? And on top of the uh, short-term rentals piece, you're only talking about maybe four months of the year as a season. So your returns have to be especially high in that time in order for it to make sense, as opposed to if you were to compare it to buying in, let's say, Thailand, uh, or someplace comparable on the coast, on the beach, you have pretty much a 12-month season, right? It's pretty much always pretty good there. So, you know, you have to run your numbers. But the thing that we have here is we have, again, this just constrained space. Now add in that you've got citizenship by investment. Now granted, citizenship by investment only applies to certain properties, so it's not universally available. But I think it's really interesting to consider, okay, if you can buy in a place where it's low density, and right now, uh, a lot of Montenegro, it doesn't have high rises, right? It's a lot of, a lot of people have houses. They have these small places. So you can basically purchase land that potentially in the future you can increase the density, uh, which would increase the value substantially. So that's very interesting. Now, on top of that, there's a lot of investment that's coming in here. So uh, if we look across the bay here, you probably can't see that well from here, but there's an area called Tivat where they did a large development called Puerto Montenegro. They brought in you know, high-end hotels. It's a big place for yachting. So this is a growing community for yachting. They're trying to make this into like a new Monaco. Now, we'll see how they do on that. They're a long ways away from it, but still, they're doing a lot of progress. There's another one here. Supposedly, it's like 500 million uh, called Portanovi. It's just opening up, uh, run by Azerbaijanis. So the one across the way is owned by people, uh, the Sheik from Dubai. This one from, uh, like I said, uh, Azerbaijani. Uh, then there's another one called Lusti Chave. I probably didn't pronounce that right, but whatever. Uh, again, it's like a 22-year development, massive, high-end. Then you go down to Budva, where they've got more. They just built this place called Duckley Gardens, which is very high-end. Uh, on and on and on. And so we're seeing a lot of money come in here from a lot of big investors. It's inevitably going to raise the overall standing of the place as we get more high-end restaurants, more high-end shopping, more high-end hotels, etc. in a place that's already geographically super beautiful with really good weather. So. I like it quite a bit, it's still fairly cheap. You can buy for, depending on where you're buying, uh, around 1,100 euros a square meter, which is pretty pretty cheap by a lot of different standards. And so the chances that that can go up, the chances that you can get a yield, if you're doing, uh, if you average it over a year on short-term rentals, you can average about a 15% cap rate. So obviously, you know, you've got expenses, etc. but that's not, uh, 
not too bad. Again, depending obviously on how you buy, right? If you go and buy a place for 6,000 euros a uh, square foot, like you can pay in uh, Duckley Garden and stuff, then that's you're not gonna get that kind of a cap rate probably. But they rent those places out for pretty expensive. If you look here, the higher end hotels are rented up practically full the entire summer period. So obviously there's demand. And you know, over time, it makes sense that that would go up. So anyway, if you're interested, you can reach out to us. We can talk more about it. It's an opportunity for possible citizenship along with real estate investment. I think it's decent from a wealth preservation standpoint, uh, if not a capital appreciation standpoint. Certainly better than you know Dubai and some of these other places. So we'll talk to you soon.